In today's tutorial, I'll be going over how to import PBR texture maps into Blender Cycles Engine. I will also be taking a look at the Nodes I.O. add-on, which allows you to easily import node trees like materials into Blender, so you don't have to go through the tease process of importing each individual texture map and hooking it up. If we go over to the Game Textures website, you will now notice that all the materials have a new download option for Blender Cycles. You can also choose your resolution here. After you download, you will get a folder that contains all of the texture maps, but it will also include this new B nodes file. If we import this B nodes file, we'll instantly have the material in Blender with everything already hooked up. Though we can't import the B nodes file just yet, we'll first need to download the nodes IO plugin, which I'll have linked in the description. So if we go over to File, User Preferences, then go over to add-ons. You can see I've already installed it. To install it yourself, you want to go install add-on from file, navigate to the folder you download from node.io, then click on the .py file and hit install add-on from file. After that, just make sure you have this checked here, then hit save user settings. So let's go ahead and open up our node editor here, and then we will add a new material which we'll then use to import the vNodes file. you notice on the right now, we have a node IO panel. If we hit this open file explorer button here, we can navigate to that vNodes file now. Here it is, hit accept. And now if I hit import node tree, you can see it added a new material here and that's the node tree we imported. So I'm going to get rid of this blank material here and now we have just the Martian Barrens rocky ground that I downloaded. We can see a preview of it here. And here's what the node tree looks like that we downloaded. If we want, we can click on this new node added here and hit Shift A, go to Group, and then Ungroup. This allows us to see all the nodes that was inside that B nodes file we downloaded. Everything is hooked up except for height. For height, we can go ahead and click it, hit H to expand, see what's there, and we can plug that straight into displacement. Though personally, I like to add in a math node to control the strength later on. So let's add in a math, hook that up, and hit multiply. This will be important because odds are your height map is already way too strong. And with that, that's how we can use the B nodes plugin to extremely quickly import any material without having to hook up a bunch of nodes. Use the B nodes add on. It's also very easy to just drag and drop in textures for materials. So I'm going to delete this and add in a new material. I'll then delete that diffuse BSDF hit shift a go to shader and navigate to the principal bsdf shader the principal bsdf shader inside blender cycles is the standard pbr shader it has it has all your main inputs like base color metallic specular roughness normal and so on in order to import our textures that we download we can hit shift a go to texture then hit image texture Though I find this process to be a bit slow, what I prefer to do is navigate over to my File Explorer browser where I have the textures, and then just drag and drop them in. Now for this material specifically, we really don't have an emissive an opacity or a metallic, so I'm going to ignore importing those and just focus on these four main maps here. So the first one up is the base color. We want to just drag this in and hook it up to base color. With that map, you're done. Up next, I'm going to import the normal map. Now, for all the next maps, it's very important that we set it from color to non-color data. Otherwise, it will convert the color space and will not display correctly in engine. For the normal map specifically, we can't just plug it into the normal on there. We will first need to hit Shift A, go to search, type normal, then hit this normal map node here. Plug it into here, then plug that into the principal BSDF. 
And as you can see now, we have normal information on our texture. The final two maps is height and roughness. For roughness, it's almost the same thing as the normal map. We drag and drop in. Make sure you set the non-color data. And then just drag that into the roughness slot here. And now we have proper roughness information. The final map in this material is the height map. We will drag and drop that in. It'll take a moment to import it. All right, set to non-color data. And just like before the B nodes add on, I'll add in a math node. Place that here, plug it in, set to multiply to reduce the strength of it. So I'm gonna multiply the strength by 0.1 to make it a scale of 1 10th its original strength. Then plug that into displacement. And you'll see that the height map here does not have any instant result. In the next tutorial, we'll be going over how to render in Cycles Engine. And I'll go into more detail on how to manipulate your height and display it in engine.